Well, I think school systems in Massachusetts before ed reform were, um, you know, a very mixed bag. And while that still exists to a large degree, that there is a lot of variation from one community to the next, that um, the one thing that really has changed is in those days, and sort of in the bad old days before education reform, no one really knew which were the good districts, districts, which were the bad districts, how you would distinguish one from another, what kind of yardstick we ought to use in measuring performance. So it was all extremely subjective. We did have some assessments, some statewide assessments at that point, but they had no consequences attached to them, no explicit standards, nobody paid any attention to it. <clears throat> so I think the big change that's happened is that we've gone from those days where, again, no one really knew what the yardstick was, no one really knew how any district or system was doing, it was all based on anecdote and gut feel, to a place where we don't necessarily have all the answers, but we do have some real information about how systems, how schools individually and collectively are doing. Um, and so I think that's been the biggest change from today versus the way things were before in reform. The biggest change that happened in the context of the 1980s and the, 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 out, the, the fallout from the nation at risk was this understanding that yes, in fact, we needed to define what the target was, we need to define what a world-class education was, and to do that we need to establish some standards and some ways for measuring performance. Um, that took a long time to work its way through. I mean, that took really a decade to work its way through here in Massachusetts. Um, and while there was a lot of resistance to it, I think that is in some ways the, the bedrock on which the Education Reform Act rests.